And a warm welcome from one of the newer venues here in the football mad capital of England. We're at the London Stadium. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position and alongside me is the former Arsenal and West Ham midfield player Stuart Robson and we're fully convinced this game will live up to its billing. It's West Ham United versus Dinamo Zagreb. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. And the starting lineup for West Ham United. Well, it's a 4-3-3 formation with a centre forward and two wingers. So it's important that the midfield players give support to the striker whenever the ball goes wide. They can't allow him to be isolated. And introducing the visitors lineup today. Well, the player that needs to affect the game is the one at the top of the midfield, Diamond. If he can get on the ball and dictate the play, they should control this match. We're ready for what we hope will be a tremendous match, and it's West Ham United with a kickoff. Offside, a tight one. And unable to keep the ball. No ball. No ball. Nicely timed tackle. Ariana Demi and all the way through to the keeper always going to be the goalkeeper's ball Bruno Petkovic Mislav Orsic Anna Goyak now a decent position oh they've lost it well, he always has to be regarded as a dangerous opponent, so what should we expect to see from him in this game, Stuart? Well, the best players are the ones that can play in tight areas, and he can certainly play in tight areas. He wriggles out of situations, he can find that penetrative pass, and he's such a good player when he gets the ball out of his feet and gets shots away. He could be the outstanding player today. Yarmolenko. Now Alex Kral, for Niles, Vlasic, Kral, in possession, Bowen, oh, good use of the ball, Craig Dawson, well they have the ball once more. how to blunt the edge of the opposing attack and that was a very fine read 
And now, passing it through. In it goes. An early goal. No wonder they're celebrating. Well, here's the goal again. And what a wonderfully weighted pass this is. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. The ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Kral. Unable to keep the ball. Yamalenko. Not the pass he had in mind. Mislav Orsic. Oh, that's an interesting pass. Well, nothing comes of the attack when all is said and done. It looks promising. Opportunity. Can they put it away? And missing the chance to give them a bit of breathing space. Well, that should have made it more comfortable, shouldn't it? But it's a wasted opportunity. Just overdoing it. A fine reading of the situation. And still dangerous. Can he finish this? And after the cross, defensive action called for. Ariana Demi. Intercepting it intelligently. Promising position, this. And a wild, wild attempt from distance. Not one for the highlight reel, Stuart. Well, that's a waste. He had much better options there. Now, what can they do from here? And there's the feed into the box. Well, the keeper wasn't fooled by it at all, in actual fact. Well, not quite what he wanted to do with the pass. In behind for him to chase. Well, it looked as though he might be on to something, but his timing left a bit to be desired. Yeah, that's frustrating, because he's just been too impatient there. He doesn't need to make his movement quite so early. Mislav Orsic. They've regained possession. I must say, this looks promising. And they deal with the threat this time. Ryan Fredericks. And it crossed the touchline, so a throw in here. Bruno Petkovic. Dangerous ball. The clearance. It should be. And the ball is loose. And the keeper put to the test, but he comes through it. Well, he's so sharp, isn't he? Great first save and then the recovery. Petkovic. The Hammers have it back.
could cross it in here. And now passing it through. Couldn't quite hang on. And thumped away. For Miles. Fredericks now. Attacking possibilities for West Ham. For Niles. Very good reading of the game to win possession back. Dino Peric. Possession changes hands. The interception there. Goyak. It is a decent looking attack here. Oh, not to be. That would have put them well on their way, Stuart. Well, that could prove to be a big miss. Surely has to score there. Well, couldn't quite find his teammate. Well, there it is. The visitors have completely dominated the game in the last 15 minutes and have been threatening with it. Surely it's only a matter of time before they get another. Good visualisation and execution. For Niles. Good pressure. Can they make something of this? Oh, that's a really good run. And a fantastic diving save. Well, it's been a while, but these fans are now coming to life. Can they equalise here? Trying to deliver it accurately. Well, they're going to be very cross with themselves because that was a wasted opportunity. Stefan Ristowski. Possession and patience, the watchwords. And the cross is very much on. Well, the pass not coming close to hitting the target. Ariana Demi, Mislav Orsic, and whipped into the box. Well, the danger is still there. And a timely intervention. The high press was very much on. Intercepting it intelligently. Jared Bowen. So a corner kick it'll be following the deflection. Well worth, I think, at this stage, going back to the chance from earlier.
Can he deliver it with accuracy? Aware of the threat, solving the problem. Stefan Ristovski. And Orsic with it. Bruno Petkovic. Keeping it moving dynamically. My goodness, the importance of getting there was not lost on the keeper. Eccentric goalkeeping. Bruno Petkovic. Can they get in behind them? Well, that's how to break the spirit of the attacker. Jared Bowen. Oh, he's lost possession of the ball. And an attempt best forgotten, I think. Ariana Demi. And on the ball, Goyak. Really getting stuck in. Yarmolenko. And he read it superbly. Well, getting very close to the half-time interval, and it's a narrow lead for the visitors to this point. Stuart, how would you assess what we've seen? Yes, they've defended really well all over the pitch. Their work rate and discipline has been excellent. But any drop in tempo, and this lead could easily slip away. Might be able to set up the chance. A corner will ensue. Trying to pick out a teammate. Well, as a defender, that will suit you down to the ground. Poor pass under no real pressure. Noble. In possession, Bowen. For Niles. Now can they make something happen? Craig Dawson. No ball. A chopping challenge. And the referee has got to have a big think about it. Well, the referee not messing about. He's cautioned him. Well, it had to be a yellow card. And he knew it was coming. Pretty comfortable piece of defending. Noble. And it's Mark Noble. Well, they continue their push for the equaliser, but definitely not forcing it. Well, you have to say, he's going to be very cross with himself. He'll certainly be disappointed with that. That was a poor effort. Ariana Demi, Amir Goyak. Promising attack, this. Good tackle, it'll be a throw. 
and he read it well defensively. Could be a chance to break here. All hands on deck. This could square the game. Oh, body in the way, crucially. And the referee is going to add on three minutes. Goyak. Mislav Orsic. Ademi on the ball. And intercepted it. Jared Bowen. Fredericks. In possession, Bowen. And he did well to cut it out. And the pass not quite accurate enough. And a throw in then. Could be troublesome. And through it goes to the keeper. The first half here comes to an end. Well, as overall contribution from midfield, chock full of positives. No getting away from that, Stuart. Well, he has that assist to his name, but it's been his control of that midfield area that's made him the outstanding player today. Every time he gets on the ball, he seems to find the right pass. He's been excellent. We're ready for what we hope will be a tremendous match, and it's West Ham United with a kickoff. An early goal, no wonder they're celebrating. Opportunity. And missing the chance to give them a bit of breathing space. Well, that should have made it more comfortable, shouldn't it? But it's a wasted opportunity. It is a decent looking attack here. Oh, not to be. That would have put them well on their way, Stuart. Well, that could prove to be a big miss. Surely has to score there. And a fantastic diving save. Well, it's been a while, but these fans are now coming to life. Can they equalise it? Trying to deliver it accurately. Well, they're going to be very cross with themselves because that was a wasted opportunity. No ball. Well, the referee not messing about. He's cautioned. Well, they continue their push for the equaliser, but... As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. And delivered into the box. Not really the ideal clearance. Well, nothing comes of it. Just cutting off the supply. And in with a real chance. And he read it well.
No ball. Yamalenko. And using his strength to shield the ball. Andrei Yamalenko now. Petkovic. Options in the centre. Amir Goyak. Ademi on the ball. Could be! And missing the chance to give them a bit of breathing space. Well, that should have made it more comfortable, shouldn't it? But it's a wasted opportunity. Noble. And failure to keep the ball by West Ham. Stefan Ristovsky. Ademi on the ball. Goyak. Decent position. And fired against the crossbar. Goal kick it'll be. What an opportunity. Well, the keeper was called upon and delivered. Well, he's so good in those 1v1 moments, and he's proved it yet again. Tremendous ball played through. Well, the goal was at his mercy. Well, it certainly was. He has to score there. Mislav Orsic. Crossing possibilities. Crucial intervention just then amid impending danger. No real challenge for the goalkeeper. Doing well to keep possession. Jared Bowen. Pablo Fornals with it. And he read it well, intercepting it. Noble. It's with Yarmolenko. Looking confident with the ball at his feet. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. This might be ideal for the counter. Opportunity in the wide area. Not to be in terms of the cross there. Goal kick coming up. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. To be replaced by number 22, Saeed Benrahma. Mishic. Well, they'll be happy to have regained possession.
What can the Hammers do from this position? An inability to keep hold of the ball there. Now a decent position. It's with Yarmolenko. Happy to pass the ball, but remaining patient. I just couldn't play that decisive ball. Luka Ivanushets. On the ball, Teofil Kasarin. It's with Josip Mišić. Top-class defending. Can they hit on the break? For Niles. Well, still searching for the equaliser, but not passing it anxiously. But then the one that fails to hit its target. Well, he's given it away. Vlasic. How about the cross? Pressure exerted, but he keeps the ball. It's got to be! And they've done it to square the game once again. Exhilarating. Well, here it is again. It was a good finish, but the keeper has to do better at his near post. He was beaten far too easily on that occasion. So back underway following the equaliser. He's using his strength to good effect. And the referee felt he had to blow the whistle. Well, this is a really good game of football. Both sides have played well going forward. There's been plenty of chances, goals and a lot of near misses. It's been great entertainment. The Hammers come away with it. Kral. Vlasic. Pablo Fornals with it. Now Alex Kral. Yamalenko nearly found his man. And West Ham have possession again. Jared Bowen. Promising looking attack from West Ham. For Niles. Firing it in, and a goal to delight the fans, just what they were hoping for. Well, let's take another look, and wow, how cleanly does he hit that? The keeper was never going to save it. What a good goal that is. a big moment in the dying embers will it prove decisive here well we have 20 minutes left in this game Yarmolenko ball with Pablo Fornals could be dangerous Kral now Alex Kral 
Jared Bowen. Well, they keep working away, looking for an opening. In position here to protect the ball. Can he put it in? Oh, he's found the net! And that increases the advantage to two. Just what they wanted and just what they deserve. Well, here's the replay and confirmation that he did get a touch on the ball. Unfortunately, it wasn't enough to prevent the goal. So back underway, 3-1 the score. Yarmolenko. Now Alex Kral. Vlasic. Accurate pass upon accurate pass. Really effective shielding under pressure. Yarmolenko. Oh, all the way out for a throw in here. So almost at full time, and the home side very much in command. Stuart, what have you made of their overall performance? Well, they've controlled most of the game, haven't they? Their one and two touch passing has been sharp, the movement's been bright, and they've scored some good goals. They just need to keep their concentration through to the final whistle. Well, that's gone out, and it is going to be a goal kick. And time for the change now. And out for a throw in. The pass could have been better. Ariana Demi. Well, if only he had timed his run slightly better. Offside. <laughs> For Niles. Possession lost by the Hammers. Went in strongly to win the ball. On attacking possibilities. Can they get in behind them? That really would have changed the equation had it gone in, Stuart. Well, he needed to score there. That may just have given them some hope. And they have possession again. Now we're inside the final ten minutes in this one. Ben Rama. And an astute piece of defending. And the flag has gone up, offside. And waiting for teammates to arrive on the scene. That's the kind of shielding play you expect from him. 
Really good interception. Decent position. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Well, far from the ideal pass. Excellent refereeing. Advantage in operation. West Ham recovering possession. Not a good pass. Petkovic. And on the ball, Vlasic. Said Benrama. Jared Bowen. Benrama. And Vlasic. And possibilities here. Could be. He's blocked it. Bruno Petkovic. Stefan Ristovsky. Well, he's thwarted him almost effortlessly. Vlasic. Kral. Using his physical strength to make sure he doesn't lose the ball. And he read it superbly. Dino Peric. In behind for him to chase. Oh, he looks threatening. That's high-level goalkeeping. Well, that's a fantastic save. He's such a good keeper. Making a change. So the corner played into the box. On well, the corner, too close to the goalkeeper that time. Yarmolenko going about his defensive business with a minimum of fuss. Petkovic. Well, he might be onto something. Not quite the clearance they were hoping for. Well, threat averted. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Vlasic and options in the centre Ryan Fredericks and that came off the defender so it'll be a corner Who can they pick out? No nonsense clearance. Lanzini. In possession, Dawson. He just needs to keep a cool head. And what a magical save it was!
Played over. Lanzini. Using his strength to shield. Chance here. There's the goal. Surely now that is that. Well, we won't get tired of watching this because the interplay around the box is wonderful. And from there, he never looked like missing. That's a lovely goal. And the big story here, West Ham win. They get maximum points from this game. What did you make of it? Well, Derek, it was a very assured performance, wasn't it? Particularly impressed with their play going forward. Really lively and almost cutting through at will at times. The result never much in doubt, if I'm honest. Well, as we run the rule over this man's work, positive after positive, Stuart. Well, of course, his finishing could have been better today. But he scored one and made a lot of chances for himself. I thought he was outstanding. 